go with your number five. This is what we got here. Like, I don't oh, know. Me? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shit, before you do mine, can I give I Because you didn't ask me my criteria for my Oh, shit. all right. What's your criteria? Thank, I'm glad you asked. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, oftentimes, whenever I have these conversations with people, I think it's very important to know how they're judging these people first. So that way, because I, I need to know if this needs to be an argument or not, right? So it's like, you know, uh, Black Guy TV is picking him, picking uh, his top five rappers uh, off that's, that doesn't include those 14 based on who he enjoys listening to. Monty picked his list based on lyricism exclusively. I picked mine based on a combination of five different factors. Okay. 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 First, it, yeah, first is sales, right? Okay. Like, I, and I'm absolutely, I think sales are, are absolutely important. I, I, I see your message, Flash. I appreciate you. He just texted my phone. Um, sales is very important, right? Like, and is it the most important thing? No, it's not the, the most important thing, but it is important because it shows that you, like, that artist has an ability to reach lots of people with their content, right? Second yeah. thing is critical acclaim. Like, what do the, what do the, what, like, the sales will tell us what the people think of your music. The critical acclaim lets us know what the critics think of your music, yeah. right? Next thing is cultural impact, right? Mm -hmm. What impact did this person, their music, and their persona have on the industry as a whole? The fourth one is a bit subjective. It's skill slash ability, right? And I didn't want to just say lyricism because there are some people that can wrap their asses off that aren't necessarily lyrical, you know what I'm saying? But they're still really good rappers, right? Like, people don't really accuse DMX of being a lyricist, but that didn't mean that that man didn't give us, like, two classics, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I do it based on skill and ability, and that's, like, lyricism. That's their ability to write songs. That's, you know, can they sing or not, or do they harmonize on their choruses? Uh, what do their voice sound like? What does their delivery sound like? How do they do when they feature on other people's shit? All of that is, is factored into skill and ability. And the fifth Thing is discography basically what is the quality of this person's body of work okay so those five things sales critical acclaim cultural impact skill and ability discography okay so those fair five enough. things were how i picked my list fair enough all right all right Damn. yeah you know it's like when i talk to scientist sam about science i'm like <laughs> sam knows more than i do about this shit <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't listen, let this motherfucker intimidate you. He's just like us. This is his hey, wheelhouse. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, man. I'm a, I'm, a, like I'm a musician. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lifetime fan of hip hop music. I, I, yeah. You know, I'm a. Me and him like, like, fight. I grew, I grew up. Like you should hear some of the general, fights though. we get right. into on the phone. Yeah, I, I, yes, I'm a music fan. I, I'm a fan of music. Period. Right. Just yeah, all, yeah. all genres of music. I, I love it all. Well, yeah. no, except God. I don't like gospel music. So yeah. let's do that. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't like gospel like, or country. Sure. This motherfucker is a producer, does dope shit. Like, all right. Yeah, all right yeah. I hear that. Take that yeah. aside. You my friend right now. We talking. Nigga, you wrong. And then we get into a fight. That's what happened. Don't be scared of him. <laughs> like I said, that I, I based my list on so all all five of the rappers that I picked. I picked based on those five things. So okay. let me go ahead and put up my first one. Like I said, there's no particular order, but you can put the first one up. All right, here we go. Got. Here's the first one. Ms. Yes, Lauren the first Hill. person I got is Lauren Hill. Right? She does Ooh. not have an overwhelming discography. Right? Like she did the score with the Fugees. And look, mm, I only count studio classic. albums. I do not count live albums or remix albums. I don't count mix. So you don't count the unplugged, project. which was great. Oh. Cool. I'm I, I'm happy that you liked it. I only count studio albums. Yeah, that that MTV unplugged was incredible. Like that mm. is. That is art oh. in the raw. Don't oh, make oh. me dread my. God <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> Listen, Lauren Hill's body of work it, it might not be that big, right? Like I think there were like two Fuji albums, and then her 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 critically acclaimed multi platinum selling Miss Education of Lauren That's Hill, one of album. the greatest. Yeah. Not just one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. Not one of the greatest R and B yeah. albums of all time. It's not one of the great great albums from a black artist of all time it is just one of the great all-time albums yes period yeah. end of sentence 
full stop. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill is an amazing project, and she yeah. shows her diversity and her dexterity and her ability to rap and sing. And mm -hmm. she and she's not just rapping; she's barring out on that on that album. Yeah. Like, like, listen, you want you want to have a great time? Go watch Sister Act Two, then go watch uh uh uh, uh then go listen to uh. Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Have yourself a, an afternoon, okay? Preach. Go, you know, Preach. Light, light, light you some sage, put some cocoa butter all over your face and shit. Just have you a blackity black time. Yep. Yeah, too bad she went insane. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like I said, well, most 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 really talented people are online crazy anyway. Yeah. You know, like genius level people like her. Yeah. You know? See, <laughs> see, but yeah. the thing and, with her is I like don't know that she as much went insane. But she grounded herself. Like you can hear it on the unplugged when she, when she's talking to the audience, mm -hmm. she's like, "I just wanted to step away from all that." No, yeah, no, not everybody's meant for this. This, yeah, I'm surprised yeah, like that's, made it this And we always we, we call that going friends. insane. Yeah. <laughs> but she yeah. she was like, I, "No, I don't want to do this." I, I feel like, like I said, she's got the like 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 off of those projects, she's got the sales and uh, she's got the sales, she's got the critical acclaim, which. Uh, as a as a sidebar, for those of y'all who don't Nova know, Nova said her uh, songs uh, got really good songs. Uh, on Kanye West's college dropout, uh, uh, all's fall the the all falls down song came mm. from something that he sampled yep. from that MTV Unplugged project. Yep. he heard yeah. that MTV yep. Unplugged project wanted to sample uh, yep. one of the records that Lauryn Hill did on that album, and then that's where All Falls Down came from. Yep. So and yeah. that so, like, song she did with All Falls Down is fucking incredible. One yeah, of my favorite uh, songs uh, ever. Uh, Drake's "Nice for What" samples uh, one of the songs from Lauren Hill's uh, 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 Lauren Hill's "Miseducation" album, and yeah. then Kanye on the Donda album also sampled something from uh, uh, he uh, um, he sampled uh, that thing yeah. on uh, on Donda. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, like I said, Lauren's got the sales. She's got the critical acclaim. She's got the cultural impact. Like the whole neo soul movement kind of kicked off off the strength of that project, right? And there were artists that were doing stuff like that before Lauryn Hill, but it was because of the mis the miseducation of Lauryn Hill, this, like, multi-platinum Grammy win. I think it won the Grammy for album of the year that year. Um, like, it was just, it, it, it helped launch that whole neo-soul, soul-querian movement. And, like, she wasn't, mm -hmm. like, the, 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 the specific jump off point but I, I feel like she made it popular to do yeah, right yeah, she's yeah. got the the skill as both a singer and a rapper and like those are very limited discography all them shits is fire yeah yeah so no, yeah I, I'm mad at that pick. it's not quantity it's quality right yeah, yeah. Look, listen I, w I would rather like when I think about some of my favorite rappers I would much rather they put out less albums if all those albums are good then yeah. they put out more albums and a bunch of them shits is mid yeah. 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 No, I don't know. You know, and that that's just me. You know, I would much rather have a little bit of something that's great than have a lot of something that's terrible. Which is funny because like that's one of the like if, if <laughs> anybody who's seen the good place, right? In the first episode, Ted Danson makes this fantastic metaphor. He was like, humans created ice cream. One of the greatest things on earth. Just one of the greatest <laughs> inventions ever made. You guys invented ice cream. If and you're not then black. And then y'all created yogurt, right? <laughs> because y'all was like, I want more of it, and I don't mind if it's less good. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and, and yeah, and that's that's what I was like. So I would much rather Lauren Hill put out less work and you the want things more that ice she put cream, out less yogurt. Yes. Yeah. More ice cream, less yogurt. Gotcha. Oh, I know my pick <laughs> is all yogurt. Y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.